What's up everybody and welcome to Obscure Gaming number 4, part 4 in this series where we take a look at random indie games from itch.io, Game Jolt, Steam, wherever we can get some indie games from. We take a look at them and we dive right in, play uh, blind. So if you guys would rather use this video as like a way to preview the game and then play it for yourself, the description uh, is going to have all the links to the games. As a side note, I have started overtime, and I'm gonna try to post as consistently as possible, but we'll see. Anywho, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, and welcome to Atlas by KissF. This is a single player and net play action open RPG. Keep in mind that this game is still in its alpha stages as well, but so far, kind of liking this this PlayStation style zooming around kind of effect here um, but yeah I was recommended to play this so we're playing it let's go all right I, I've got to say that the aesthetic in this game is just <laughs> so far I'm, I'm liking it a lot so let's go oh I guess we're furries. Um, and you've got a race select thing. Compact yet sturdy. Hmm. Am I feeling like a bird? Or a uh, uh, poon? Yeah, <laughs> y'all know about <laughs> Sorry. Um, feeling a little rat-like. What the? Oh! <laughs> okay! Why'd they have to have the a animation like that, man? I mean... <laughs> what the? Cool. So we can make a couple different characters and uh, experiment with that. So far, this is looking really well made. I don't know how much um, how much effort has gone into this game yet, but ooh. Oh, so we have a shield. Oh wait. Oh, we need to recharge that. Darn. Okay. Well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Being that this is an open. Uh, ooh. These controls feel kind of fluid. I mean, the turns look a little funny, but I mean, at the same time, I kind of like it. <laughs> this looks like a tutorial place, I think, or maybe like a shop or something. Hi. Lol B, ain't it a pleasure to see you? Want to trade? Oh yes, why of course. What will be for the journey, buying or selling? Oh. All of these are free? Oh, yeah, that's kind of solid. Okay, we can switch weapons. So we've got the sword here. We've got this thing. So we're going to the, the obvious, most obvious place. Hello! Um. <laughs> hmm. Any quests? Ooh, okay. What can I help you with? Where are we? The Sanctum. Cool. Hmm. Cool, we're on a quest now. So we need to see the world portal. Okay, there it is. Hmm. kind of cool I like the charge up on that this one's complete cool all right now we can do uh, find the stray visual within the catacombs and let it tether to your soul sounds sounds uh, manageable 
I like how we can do multiple quests at a single time. That's uh, really good. I would like this leather cap. Okay. Never mind. We have no money. Whoa! Okay, that is that is sick. This is a very well made, um, very well made game. I really need to see how long it's uh, taken them uh, to make this. Those slimes are unlike ones that I've. Oh, whoa, 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 hey! Hey! Oh my god! It would be nice if we could do like an auto pickup. Maybe some higher leveled ones up here. Nope. I bet the wisps are in this thing. Gotta be haunted looking place. Look at that. Stairs of suffering. Oh, wait, these aren't stairs. It's a column. Um so that's not open. There might not be anything that we can do here just yet. Well, it was worth a shot. Maybe around here? What is this? Hmm. Darn. One thing that worries me just a little bit is there's an F1 to F5 keys on the bottom right, and my keyboard has no F1 to F12 unless I hold down the function key on it. Skill issue, I guess. I guess I got got to get a new keyboard. We got this. Awesome. Awesome. Can I accept? I can accept that again. Okay. Bye. Oh, I didn't even see this area. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, these things are looking a little funny. Oh. Oh! Oh, that was kind of... Hey! I'm dead. Oh! So there, that's where the wisps come from. I just have to stay here. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. That hurts. Ooh. Those hurt. Those hurt a lot. I need to remember that I have a shield. Oh. Right, let's go back. Let's see if we can get something. Reading this tome teaches you to be the burly fighter class. You got the mystic class. This one unlearned skills. Movement speed. Tosses a rock. Healing conditions. Okay, I like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like these skills. You can throw a rock. This one gives you a movement speed. All right, I think we're ready to take on these uh, these hogs, these feral hogs. Woo! Well, that took all of my. Oh. Okay, we we are not ready. Were these the catacombs? <clears throat> I swear there was something here. There's gotta be something. Right, that, that's like part of the main 
quest thing, man. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it's... Oh, well, we got a little platformer going on here. Oh! We'll all be. Take a look at that. Spooky. Very spooky. Let's go this way. Hello? Oh! Hmm. Oh! Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh! Uh-oh. Hey! Are we stuck? We might be stuck. Ooh, yikes. How about that? Ow. Ha! Gotcha. Couldn't keep me wrapped up. No, sir. I like how the, they're so animated. Look at the uh, little animations on these. Uh... Oh! Ooh, yikes. I'm dead. <laughs> yikes. Oh man, they're gonna. They're gonna beat me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey! Hey, get away from me, please! Okay, this time. This time it's over. Woo! Shush! some extra things here extra goodies let's uh switch out first i like the combat mechanics that they got going on here Ooh, what is this look at that uh oh. Hmm. And we're all good. That's everything. We beat him. Probably could have just saved the trip and stayed there and leveled up. Alright, we should be able to get some new quests now. Let's go. Nice. And then. Nice spirits. Cool. We have a new one. Slimes ambushed in the catacombs. Well then, da 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 da. Portal is northeast of the catacombs entrance. Hmm. Oh, 
All right, let's see what we have. We will see what we have. We got something moving and grooving. Let's see if we can aggravate it. everyone here. Uh oh. <laughs> here we go. That's how you form it. That's how you do it. Oh! We leveled up too. Good. Hi. Right. Finished to this one. Sweeping Terrace. Ter terrace has been covered and infested. Slimex. It might just be better that I use the sword, to be honest. Because, uh. There's a little bit more maneuverability with it. Yeah, that is it, see how fast that is compared to the uh, axe hammer? So good. So good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn this one in. Turn it in. There we go. Diva must die. Would appear if her children continue to die, perhaps, where there are more Slimex. Okay, we get that. We just gotta keep killing these things, man. And we'll eventually. We will eventually. Oh! Get this to happen. There we go. What the? Oh, come on now. They didn't have to do that. <laughs> they really didn't have to do that. Get her. Okay. All right, this is it. Oh, ow! Whew. Green lipstick. Something else. That. 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 Cool. around here and gain some XP from this. There we go. Mech boar head. Mm, hunting hogs. Let's go. Finish this one. Finish this one. Oh! Thank you for playing Atlas. Enjoyed it. Wishlist the game on Steam. You may continue to journey and progress your character as long as you like. Cool. There you have it, everyone. Atlas. Um, what I think I'm going to do is figure out what this... Uh, I'm level 10 now, so... I can... Should be able to use this. And now we're the fighter class. And we can do certain things with this, so. Ooh. 
<laughs> what was that? Oh man. What was that? <laughs> the sound cue for that ability. <laughs> well, that's cool. Oh, okay, you can have a little charge attack here. That's dope. Oh, oh, well. Hey, stop following me. I really want to beat those, uh, those interesting looking Johns over there. Um, but also I want to kind of explore this map a little bit. Hmm. Let's see if we can get him. Oi! We got him. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, wait, hold on. Dude, I really appreciate the, um, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting smacked. I really appreciate the, uh, combat system in this because you got, like, you gotta, you gotta appreciate that. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, plus this. <laughs> well, that's it for this game, you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been Atlas. Very, very cool game. There's been a lot of work that's been put into it. Um, lots of... Yeah, just... It, it feels like a very clean game. And the fact that they have, like, classes and stuff, I mean... Yeah, yeah, you know it's gonna be goaded once they uh, release it. So, still in alpha stage right now. Uh, there should be multiplayer at some point. Uh, they were, or at least within the um, within the menu, you can see there's a little multiplayer section on the top. So that's coming up. Um, but yeah, this has reminded me a lot of the games that I used to play as a kid, like Spyro or um, or Vex, if you guys know about Vex. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really fun, very cool. Uh, just some of the some of the things are kind of kind of sus with the uh, the bosses, and then the there's the whole create. Uh, creation screen that it, it kind of, a little odd but it's what it is uh, anyways hope you guys enjoyed this one and on to the next one hello everyone and welcome to rinse and repeat seems like we don't even have a menu we're going straight into it um so this game is made by hadrian dev it is a playstation style horror game and what happens is the character has had a long day and decides to take a shower. Maybe it's our minds playing, mind playing tricks, but we thought we heard something. So here we are, and uh, we can interact with certain things going on. I swear I played a game similar to this, except it was exclusively in the shower. Um, so we can put our clothes away. And 
We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We're going. We're leaving this place. Because, uh... We have... We don't want anything to do with this. You left naked. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yes. So that's one of the secret endings. Um, what if we just headed out? What if we just left without doing that? You left. Too tired for a shower right now. Stinky. One of the three main endings found. Okay. Cool. I like the replayability of this game. It's pretty good. Uh, what if we... Can we shower without? Actually, uh... No. No, we can't. And first of all, why don't we have a uh, curtain here? It's kind of odd. <laughs> la 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 la. Hot water. I love showering. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? La 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 Okay, just gonna wash right here. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> you you take so long to wash your hair. Oh, I don't like that. Hello? Tot. Ah ah ah. Anybody there? <laughs> hey. It's kind of spooky. Go away, please. I'm too paranoid for games like this. Oh! You died. That which you feared has manifested. Oh! Hmm. So maybe if we check too often, it, uh... It gets us. So what if we just don't... What if we just don't fear? What if we just flush? Flush the fear away. There we go. Let's turn it on. <laughs> Scrub-a-dub-dub. Scrubby dubby. I thought I heard something, but I'm not gonna take a look because we're good. We ain't manifesting nothing today because it doesn't exist. We're speed running it. This hair washing. This. No, there ain't nothing there. That's nothing. That is our mind playing tricks. For there is nothing there. You took a shower. Nothing bad. Nothing bad happened. Huh. So what's the secret ending? This is kind of a, this is a really quick one, I think. 
<laughs> what if we just wait around? Is that an option? What if we just keep flushing? Oh! Hey! Hmm. Well, there you have it, you guys. This game was, uh, oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, that game was really, uh, really quick, actually. That was, man. Well, there you have it. On to the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to Water Womb World by Yames. This game is an underwater horror game about exploring the seafloor, catching fish, sifting through silt for objects, doing lab work, and trying to find Eden. Whether Eden be a place, or a person, or a robot, we're gonna find it. Let's head right into it. Though I'm a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstition. The mysticisms, the rituals, I know they're all articulations of a deeper material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and perfection of God's plan confirmed each order at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I'm closer than ever to finding the truth. I'm heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call Gasper's Zone. I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out on the holy seabed where the spirit blew life into the increate mantle. Hmm. So here we are, and take a look at our lab. This aesthetic is really cool, I've got to say. I've lit my path with the submersible lights. It is a blessed day. This is the type of guy to say blessed instead of blessed. Before I leave, I ought to fill, my, fill up my tank and grab some nets for a specimen collection. Let's do that. Did we... Oh, we replenished. You replenish, okay, and grab the tank. Oh, okay, and let's check the mirror. Oh, no, I'm gonna need both if I'm going to do my research. Research, I should find more samples before I begin my studies. Okay, let's go get some samples. Even with my lights, it's still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they're on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I just have to remember that the entrance back into the lab is the first furthest spot south. I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sift at one position, it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample via my net, and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. All right. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's sift. Sift. Find anything, I'll keep looking. Um. Ooh! I should have thrown my net. Ah, oh, darn. Sift, sift the silt. A dive mask, likely an older make by the looks of it. it. Only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking back at the lab. Hmm, it's kind of ominous. Just a little bit. Sift. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Ooh, gotcha. Check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. Man, poor fish. Sift. 
Sift, sift, sift. I'm actually really afraid of uh, underwater. <laughs> Yeah, thank goodness there's no, like, uh, no realism or anything with this. Otherwise, I think I'd be losing my mind. Okay, we're not really finding anything, I don't think. Sift. finding anything. Maybe I should have done this incrementally, you know. Um. Since we're not really finding anything, I think uh, we gotta head back. Oh! I found a post-lapsarian atomite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I'll study it when I get back to the lab. I've been blessed with a bounty to research. It's time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. Even though I've been down there but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation. Was that God opening the mind too? I'm alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own. Well, as I have said, I should get to work. Yes! Let's just refill the tank, replenish the net, check the mirror. We're looking a little uh, different today. Excellent. All right. Um, <laughs> let's research. Nyom. Adamite skull. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, to the birth of all creation. Hmm. Remains of a son of Adam contains 5% ancestral corruption. Oh, check that out. They look to be very, very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes. One of the pillars of Aqua Id Ed oh, oh man. Aqua Edenic studies is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since such a time, and the form of sons of Adam take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load up the next sample. Meowing. Hmm. This mask would prove that I am not the first one to explore Gasper's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. There are certain divisions in the papal conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. I'm learning so many words today. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions, and what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Yoink. We got, uh, amazing. This fish has been very well, uh, has, may have very well been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs. This very well may confirm the theory of Gasper's zone being located in or around Edenic ground. But how? Some of the suspension of space-time, or some biological deceleration of the aging process? I must conduct a more extensive research. 
Soon, I should go out for more samples. Um, I don't like the sound of that. What was that, a whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. No, no, this is time. We take a look at the cameras that look outside. You could have thought of that when you built this whole uh, underground, I, I, this underwater lab, right? Oh, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Lights are out. Damn, but something stirs in me. I think that's, uh, oh Lord, even this darkness, I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. Uh-oh. Behind. Come on. I don't think this is a good idea. Can we not sift? No sifting? Oh! You look Edenic. A sample! Son of Adam. I beseech thee, your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place, or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man, or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is to return origin word, back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee. An angel? No! A sample! An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visage even matches the description in the deciphered Genesis Apocryphon. Apocryphon. Hmm. To see such sights, can it be, Im can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh in God. I can't postpone my research any longer. I am closer than ever and I'll find the truth. I must find more samples. Yes! Excellent. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if I see an aquatic creature like that and it starts speaking to me in a language that I can understand and it's beseeching me, I, I, I'd probably heed that message, yes. I'd heed the beseeches, cause that, that ain't natural. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> I'm going home, I'm going to church, and I'm gonna, I, I, I'm just gonna live as a farmer from then on, because that, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, well, we got nets, we, we refilled the tank, let's head out. Time to change it up. I ought to find two live specimens, one object, and one object in the silt. I feel as if I barely even need this oxygen underwater anymore. I'm closer to God than ever. That's not good. Sift it. Yoink. Yoink. Sift. Oof! Darn. I missed it. It couldn't have gone far. Oh! Interesting. This coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. Hmm. We're not beseeching right now. I mean, we're not heating. Okay, we, we already found one, but we, we should take a look, see if we can get this, uh... Oh! Got 
Gotcha. There should be another. Oh. Wait. No, I didn't mean to do that. Refill the tank. Head out. Gotcha. Okay, we're good. It has been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark, the undifferentiated infinitude incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. Hmm. Hmm. We are not heeding. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. A beatific lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me just at the moment I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there's nothing to do but press on. Or we could beseech. Oh! We're not looking too high right now. Research. Deathless fish. This fish is even older. Amazing. Almost impossible. There's some common link between this life form and our own. I notice as well this fish, as well as others, are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean. But even blind fish can sense the difference between light and dark. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be something. All of a sudden, I feel... So old. Impossibly old. The ancient of days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. What does it mean? With proto-human neuron, hyper-capable of creating consciousness field. Womb of God. Oh! Have we gotten the womb of God? I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? Nope. You seem to be, uh... Oh, man. The light. Another angel? Oh, Lord. I can feel your love. Hello? I'm scared to check the mirror. Do we head out? Oh! <laughs> hmm. Water womb world. hunger go and join angels join God no need oh oh I am I am uh oh this ain't good no need Well, we're gonna die here, because we're gonna head out. We can't research. We got uh, the mirror. He doesn't want the nets, he doesn't want the tank. I must find it. Oh man. I 
feed on coral. Ah. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. More. Oh, man. Water womb world. Oh! I love it. Spooky. <laughs> Retained the mystery. We did not. We did not heed the beseeches. That's the uh, that's the ultimate lesson through this. If you get beseeched, you gotta heed. So, <laughs> I really liked this though. The. Uh, the aesthetic is unique. I don't think I've seen anything like it. Like, I've seen pixelated things, but this one was kind of like bending, you know? I don't know how, how else to describe it, but yeah, this was really good. And uh, props to Yames. Um, yeah, on to the next one. Hello everyone, and welcome to Leave Me Alone by Noxus Game Studio. This is a horror game uh, with VHS elements, and it's been inspired by uh, PS1 classics and 80s and 90s films. That's all I really know about it. I see a little bit of woods going on, so that's probably where this takes place. And yeah, let's just get it right into it. See how it goes. Left mouse button to interact. C to switch camera. Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, you start out with this default um sort of fixed camera angle, but you can change it. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It's like that uh, Resident Evil fixed camera angle sort of thing. Uh-oh. Oh! There seems to be someone behind you here. <laughs> For a low poly game, your face is kind of, kind of detailed. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So we're going camping with our friend Noah. Yes. Can we go this way? Uh, actually, let's try going this way. Hmm. Oh. So that's locked. Um, oh, backpack. 
Excellent. Hmm. Oh. Okay. We picked up the lighter. I believe that was. Time to leave the house. Can we go through here? Wait. I want to see what was through that uh, other area. Who's here? Is this where Noah is? Or... Oh! Can we get on top of there? Well. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to leave the house. Um... That's a cool detail that they added though, changing the camera angle. Ooh. <laughs> I'm digging it. Ooh. Hey Noah. Excited for this adventure in the forest. Yes. Absolutely, Jackson. Oh wait, we're this Jackson. Way is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Totally agree. Hey. I heard this forest has strange stories. Legends of things that roam at night. Ooh, ah, spooky. You know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. Just two guys right. but seriously, and the outdoors. What would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Ha <laughs> ha. I'd run. Ah, oh. If I saw something <laughs> strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always Truly. manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. <laughs> kind of cheesy. I love it. Oh! It's like a slasher. 80s slasher. My bloody valentine type beat. And of course, the woods are whispering. Mm -mm -mm. Spooky. No, <laughs> <laughs> looks kind of horrific. Go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? All right, I'll start setting up the tent. <laughs> Excellent. Let's set up this tent. But it's in the middle of this area. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, I would like to set up the tent here. Retrieve the backpack from the car. Okay. Let's go. Do we put in the trunk? No. All right. Excellent. Man, I, I like these camera angles. Oh. Ooh, spooky. Surely nothing spooky will happen if I place this backpack down. Oh, we have one more item. Surely nothing spooky will happen if I place this lantern down. Hmm. Actually, we're all right. Let's go to the most obvious place. Oh, I guess it wasn't so obvious. Let's go looking around in the woods. What a wonderful afternoon. Or, no, it's more of evening, actually. 
Just taking a jog in the woods. Nothing bad happening. A graveyard? It's kind of spooky. Hmm. What's this? A note. Oh, man. Now, if I saw a note like that, finding a, you know, news article about finding a dead body in a cemetery, uh, just right on top of this, this coffin here, why would they have a coffin out? Um, yeah, I probably would, I probably would uh, skedaddle. I'd say the Whispering Woods is probably not for me. Uh, let's let's go to. Uh, a Motel 8 or something. If that's what the thing's called. A Red Roof Inn. What's this? Can't open it. We can go around it, surely? Nope. Okay then, let's head back. We are heading back then. Can't go around it. Already tried. But let's uh, go back to that campground, see how uh, how things are. Noah! Noah! Hey, Noah! Noah! Hey, Jackson. I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. Excellent. Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? I brought a lighter. It's in the car. I'll go get it. Hmm. Surely nothing bad will happen as I try to get this lighter from the car. Oh. Here we are. Now we can sing campfire songs. Nothing like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. I agree, Noah. Sometimes it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. So speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? Mm. They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? Hmm. No, I haven't. What's that story? They say many years ago, a lone traveler got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen. Hmm. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained, but there's always something eerie about this forest. Don't you think? Sometimes imagination plays tricks on us. But hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. I agree, man. No legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. A long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours. Uh oh. I think Noah's already awake. No, is he here? What is he? Uh oh. Press F to pick up the lamp. Oh, we love that. Quintessential. Uh, oh. Oh man. Noah. I bet you're in the area that I couldn't access earlier.
Now, uh... Man, if you're... If you're playing a prank on me, this isn't funny. A little spooky. Oh, I can't do that for too long. That kind of hurts. Oh, man. It's actually kind of vast. Oh, wait, no, this is just a... Okay, okay. we got a left-right angle going on here. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Now what? Ooh. We found the bando. No, are you in there? It's locked. Hmm. Probably one of these. Oh, found it. No, are you in here? This is kind of new. Murder. I don't think I like that. Well, this is time to hightail it to the nearest uh, police station and file a missing persons report. Hello? Hello? This kind of looks familiar. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Noah! Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Tell me he's following us. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Run to the car. Get to the car. Oh. Okay. We we can't do anything with the car. <laughs> oh. What was that? Did we just get hit by a car? something How did I get here? Oh. Oh. 
Dang, we couldn't get out of there the uh, second time. It's kind of difficult. Dang, I couldn't get out. Okay, this time, we're just gonna keep running. Hey! Get away from me! Oh, he's catching up! Oh! Oh man. Alright, let's let's try going through here because we can't go through there. We get run over. Oh! Oh I don't like this. No, we're still running. Oh! He's still behind us. Dude, no way. Hey, 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 hey! Let's try the other way. Oh. There's got to be something here. There's got to. Oh, we can go. We can go. Oh no way. Oh, no way. This looks very familiar. Oh. It's over. It's over for us. Leave me alone. Oh! And there you have it. Leave me alone. Hmm. I liked this. I like the ambience with it. Kind of cheesy. I like the, uh... <laughs> with, uh, you know, the the script. But for the most part, it's a pretty charming game. And I like the aesthetic Resident Evil type thing. Yeah. Well, on to the next one.
Hi everyone and welcome to Fuel 37. This is a game by Puco and it's a horror game about a guy lost in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the description reads, sometimes life forces us to stop. Will you be able to continue? That's the real question we are about to answer. This is actually one of my um, one of my worst fears is getting oh getting stuck in the middle of rural rural America. Miguel, I'm out of gas and I don't see anyone on the road. Uh oh. Maybe someone nearby can help me. I don't know, this is kind of looking like rural America. I should grab the gas can from the trunk in case I find fuel. Boink! What is this? Oh. Whoop. Okay. Hmm. Hello? 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 Doesn't want us going there. Doesn't want us going there. Oh. What's happening? I'm like stopping every uh, other second. Hmm. It's kind of odd. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Oh, well, what do you know? A gas station, if I can move. Hey! Let me move. I just gotta jiggle. Just gotta... There we go. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh! What's happening? Yeah, what was that? Was that the infamous Fuel 37? I better take the fuel to the car and get out of here. But what if we don't? What if we go in here? Oh, darn. <laughs> Come on. Come on, brother. Okay, okay. Oh, we got stuck on a grass. We got stuck on another... Did the car get sunk a little bit, or am I just, uh, tripping? Shit, someone slashed the tires with a blade. Oh! Hello, sir. I'm Mario. What the hell? Did you slash my tires? I live here, in a house near the ab- I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> near the abandoned station. I heard a car had stopped, and I thought maybe someone needed help. If you give me the gas can, I'll tell you a secret that might help you continue your journey. Yes, take the gas can. <laughs> you're probably, uh, you're probably something. Excellent. Here's the key to the office. They have spare tires for your car in there. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. Thanks for the fuel. Yeah, no problem. No, if I could. Oh, actually. There we go. Oh. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yoink. Hmm. Hmm. It seems the key Mario gave me doesn't work. I've been screwed. We're fucked. Can we go around? Nope. Well, there we have it. We done did ourselves in, and now we're gonna get slashed. Man. I hate rural America. We're going to explode! 
Everyone is going to explode. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm guessing there are multiple endings <laughs> in this one as well. <laughs> that was something else. Hello, sir. I am Mario. I live here, in a house near the abandoned station. I heard a car had stopped, and I thought maybe someone needed help. Who told you? If you give me the gas can, I'll tell you a secret that might help you continue your journey. Uh, why should I trust you? You don't have to. I'll be here if you change your mind. Hmm. Well, sir. Can I say something? If you give me the gas can, I'll tell you a secret that might help you continue your journey. No thanks. I'll think about it while I take a stroll. If you give me the gas can. No. Now what is here? Oh! Hello? Hi. Hello? Oh, hi. What are you doing? Are you a cop? No. Phew, lucky I thought you were here to take the infinite gas from the abandoned station. They call me El Morcilla. A pleasure. Is there anything you want to ask me? Um... Do you know someone named Mario? Mm, I don't know any Mario. I live on a nearby farm, but I've never heard of Mario. Hmm... Mario's a strange one. Anything else you want to ask me? Uh, what's this about infinite gas? That's what I say since 86. This station has been abandoned, yet it never runs out of fuel. It's a gold mine. But don't spread the rumor. Let no one find out. Anything else you want to ask me? Someone slashed my car tires. Do you know who could have done it? I don't know. All I know is that it's almost 3 a.m. and they might come. They? No time. It was nice meeting you. Good luck. Goodbye. It seems something is going to happen after 3 a.m. I have to hurry to get out of here. Yeah, oh. No, I think we're... I've... Hello? Who keeps refilling the gas? Who keeps refilling the gas? I gotta get out of here. Oh, what is this? What am I seeing? Wait, what? Oh! Get me out of here! Wait, do we have to go back? Maybe I don't want to go over there. Whoa. Whoa! Uh oh. That's, that gas is hitting a little different. Oh my. <laughs> what the? I can't really understand what's going on. Dang, we must have eaten something a little funky off the ground. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> a little bit of psychedelia. Hi, how are you doing? How's it going? What's happening? Who took my car? Hmm. Didn't you see anything? I didn't see any car, no. Could you do me a favor? What favor? 
On the other side of the forest are my dreams. Could you bring them? Your dreams? What are they talking about? What the hell is going on here? Shh. Okay, let's go get your dreams. We'll get there. We'll get there even. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized. Oh! Hmm. Bizarre. Hello? Oh! Speak to them. Choose the numbers from another dimension. Bring us peace. Oh. Okay, I'll find you peace. Hello? 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 Excuse me. Just remember the around you witnessed on January 6th. Do you remember? What if we reject? Five days passed. Or weeks. Years. Reject. No. Hi. A yeah and four bubbles four reject oh pardon me why didn't i uh, easier why didn't i load more fuel Three years ago, everything was something. Reject. This individual. Come on now. Once sold to remain uh, one. Reject. How about you? Last individual. She didn't deserve to survive? Sleep? Perhaps no. Now you can say something to her. What if I accept? Hmm. Interesting. Hello. She is in, in between two. Except. I don't know what that did. Maybe we can go talk back to the, uh... The square. Is this your final choice? Uh, yes. Return to the road. You are free. Oh. Well, I don't know what I did, but, um, I guess we can go to the road. I wonder if we get stuck there. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, passenger seat, I guess. Oh! Unlocked a bad ending.
peace shall be found. Maybe it's just the one that speaks the most peacefully. Unsold remains something. Why didn't I remember earlier? More fuel. So it's not you. I know it's not you. A count of uh, four bubbles. Four? Maybe it's five, actually. Maybe it's five because peace has f five letters, right? Five uh, days past or weeks or years. Let's accept for right now. Actually, we have to go back and accept it. But do you remember January sixth? Do you remember? No, I don't. I don't. Didn't deserve to survive. Perhaps you can say to her. Between two. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Okay, it's not you. And then it's not you. So to have peace is with five letters. Except. Meow. Is this your final choice? Yes. Return to the road. You are free. Are we really? Peace lies in the fifth dimension. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. Do you remember? I accept. I remember. This is my final answer. Yes. Yes, it is. Return to the road. Return to the road. I do remember. Even though the uh, voice said, I really can't remember. Man, come on. One something, except. Four. Except. Let's try four. Bring me peace. Bring me peace. It's not you. 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 Maybe it's you. No, it's definitely not you. Perhaps now you can say goodbye to her. Except that sounds very peaceful. Maybe I should have done that. Do we really run up on like the last thing? Thought I already did. It was you, right? Except. Who I th I think it's Amla because if you take a look at the thing, it says she didn't deserve to die. Uh, to something. She didn't deserve to something. Perhaps. Now you can say goodbye to her. Um, it, it sounds the most peaceful out of everyone else. Um, I might be missing some major clues here. Or I might just be uh, not very wise, but it seems I am just unable to get this, man. You guys haven't seen it, but I've I've played this for like three hours just trying to figure this combo out or combination or single one and it, it, it it's nothing it's nothing i can't i can't figure it out man so um otherwise i i like this game it's kind of mysterious pretty cool uh and if you guys want to play it the link is going to be in the description 
uh, if you can figure it out, I mean, feel free to leave a comment and tell me what what to do, you know, <laughs> because I, I've got no clue. No clue at all. Anywho, let's go on to the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to Hose Head by OK Cam and Team. This is a platformer. You play as a firefighter with a very particular power. So, let's get right into it. So here's our, our dude right here. And yes, he is... He does this. <laughs> Ooh, right click to look around. Awesome. Oh! That wasn't too good. I like the music in this. Yo. So we can't actually touch the, uh, we can't hose the wires. Whew! Hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's hot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was kind of close. Oh! It's not too good. As you can see, this uh, gameplay is very self-explanatory. What do we have? Got something going on here. Wow! Uh oh! Oh! Whoopsies! Oh! It's not good. Okay, let's let's avoid doing that. Electric wire. And we did it again. Oh, this is actually kind of tough. This gameplay is kind of similar to, um... Ah! This gameplay is kind of similar to, um... The mechanic in uh ooh, ooh, ooh. oh whoops oh that's kind of tricky yeah oh man Starts of this this whole process here. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. We need to get there quick if we actually want to. If we want to make it. Let's go ahead and extinguish that first. Okay. Woo. There we go. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tough. A bit of a toughie. Oh! Eat! Oh! 
fire. Uh. Yikes. This is actually kind of difficult. A little bit of challenge to this. Actually, really into this. This is a. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. I. I. Okay. This is kind of tough. I don't know how we're gonna do this one. That is tough. Come on! <laughs> oh man. Dude, how are we gonna make it? How are we gonna make it past this? Let's go. Yum. Yum. Dang.
Oh. I like this. Challenging games that have this sort of speedrun uh, potential. Kind of like Super Meat Boy. Not really, it's got its own mechanics, so. No! Oh. Oh, not again. Whoo, let's go. Awesome. Yeah, that one was kind of tough, but this is, yeah, this was a short game. But, loads of fun. So, I, I really wish that there were more levels to this, because th this has a lot of potential. It's very addicting. Um, reminds me of, uh, I think it was like S Super Skeleton Boy or something like that. Or, um, something that I played way back when, when I was like 14 or something. Um, but also Super Meat Boy and some other platformers out there, so... Yeah, this one, this one was very, very fun and uh, has a lot of potential to be its own like full game if you fleshed it out, um, added a little bit more, uh, well I, actually it could just be like a an 8, 16 bit sort of platformer, but I mean if you added its own animations to it, uh, like some um, 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 um I don't know, ba basically something indicating that it's a full version. Like this, this is good, this is great. Um, but I, I really wish that there were more levels because I could keep playing this for uh, hours, I think. So yeah, good job. And um, let's see, I think that uh, about sums it up for this, uh, this obscure game spree. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.